I'm going to send an email tomorrow proposing to have Arlene look at it and proposing the joining of the <laughs> Bob and Bridget Richard. Give her an FYI. <laughs> Yes, I was going to boost it, and I didn't bother, you know. I think it's a fabulous idea. Yeah, I do too. Let's get everybody kicking. Okay, who's this guy right here? I recognize you. Okay. The council meeting for the city of Andalia, uh, September the 3rd, is now called to order. Uh, we will have a moment of reflection and then followed by the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Council, you've had the opportunity to uh, look at the council study session minutes of August the 19th and also the council meeting minutes of August the 19th. Are there any revisions or corrections to be made? Seeing none, they'll stand approved. Uh, we have no communication petitions or awards this evening, nor do we have any public hearing. And that brings us to comments from interested citizens. So if there's anyone in our audience who would like to make comment, would you please come to the podium, state your name and address for our records, and then your statement. Seeing none, we'll continue on with the city manager's report. And we have no information items tonight, but we do have action items. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, so Mrs. Carolyn North uh, has requested appointment to the Golf Advisory Board. Council, I had an opportunity to speak with Mrs. North during your study session this evening. Thank you. Is there a motion? I move that we approve the appointment of Carolyn North to the Golf Advisory Board. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Farr, second by Councilman Gerhardt, that we uh, appoint Mrs. North to the Golf Advisory Board. Any comments? I'll just say that in our interview, she was very enthusiastic, which is really great. So uh, if there are no further comments, would you please call the roll? Yes, ma'am. Councilman Lewis? Yes. Councilman Ehlers? Yes. Councilman Blakesley? Yes. Councilman Gerhard? Yes. Councilwoman Farst? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbst? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7-0. Uh, uh, sidewalk bond extension, Brown School Woods. Mr. Cruzy? Thank you, Your Honor. So we have received a request uh, for a one-year extension until September 15th of 2020 to complete the construction of sidewalks for eight undeveloped lots in Brown School Wood Subdivision Section 4, and surety will be renewed to cover the extension period. Thank you very much. Is there a motion? I move that we approve the sidewalk uh, extension project for Brown School Woods. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Ayler, second by Councilman Gerhardt, that we do approve the sidewalk bond extension for Brown School Woods. Any comments? <coughs> Would you please call the roll? Yes, ma'am. Councilwoman Farsh? Yes. Councilman Ayler? Yes. Councilman Lewis? Yes. Councilman Blakesley? Yes. Councilman Gerhardt? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbst? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes. And the motion carries 7 0. We have no old business this evening. That brings us to our first resolution. And that is resolution 19-R-50. Uh, by title only, please. 19-R-50. 
a resolution authorizing the city manager or his designee to enter into an agreement with Miami Valley, Valley Lighting LLC and Gilman Estates Homeowners Association regarding street lighting. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, so the Homeowners Association of Gilman Estates has requested that the city review its charges uh, for decorative street lighting. Uh, when this subdivision was developed in uh, 1999, it was the city's policy that all costs associated with the installation, service, and maintenance of decorative street lights uh, would be the responsibility of the Homeowners Association. However, since that time, uh, two subdivisions have been developed with decorative street lights, and in those cases, the city agreed to pay for the service and maintenance of the decorative lights and then invoice the Homeowners Association for the cost difference between the decorative street lights and our standard wood poles. Uh, the Gilman Estates Homeowners <coughs> Association is requesting the same arrangement uh, that's provided to the other subdivisions. Uh, the six decorative light poles in question would cost the city an additional $54.36 per month. Thank you very much. Is there a motion? Your Honor, I move that we approve Resolution 19-R-50 as presented. Second. It's been moved by Vice Mayor Herbst, second by Councilwoman Farce, that we approve Resolution 19-R-50 as presented. Are there any comments? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Yes. Councilman Ehlers. Yes. Councilman Blakesley. Yes. Councilman Gerhardt. Yes. Councilwoman Farce. Yes. Councilman Lewis. Yes. Vice Mayor Herbst. Yes. Mayor Setzer. Yes, and the motion carries 7 to 0. Uh, resolution 19-R-51, by title only, please. Yes, ma'am. Resolution 19-R-51, a resolution consenting to bridge inspection program services with the Ohio Department of Transportation. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, so this resolution authorizes a three-year agreement with the Ohio Department of Transportation for inspection of the city's nine bridges. Uh, there is no cost to the city for this service. Thank you. Is there a motion? I make a motion we approve resolution 19-R-51 as read. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Gerhardt, second by Councilman Ehlers, that we do approve resolution 19-R-51 as presented. Are there any comments? Would you please call the roll? Councilman Blakesley? Yes. Councilman Gerhardt? Yes. Councilwoman Farst? Yes. Councilman Lewis? Yes. Councilman Ehlers? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbst? Yes. And Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7-0. Uh, an ordinance in its first reading, and that's Ordinance 19-17. By title only, please. Ordinance 19-17, an ordinance authorizing Arlene Setzer, Mayor of the City of Vandalia, to extend the agreement for John Crusey as City Manager. Thank you. And uh, I'm just going to make the statement that, uh, as I did in the past, uh, I do not uh, agree with retire, rehire, and because of that and the extension of that contract, I will be voting no. Are there any other comments? Would you please uh, give me a motion? I'll make a motion. We approve Ordinance 19-17. Second. Second. Ooh. Okay. It's been moved by Councilman Gerhardt, second by Councilman Ehlers, that we approve uh, Ordinance 19-17 in its first reading. Any comments? Would you please call the roll? Yes, ma'am. Councilman Gerhardt? Yes. Councilwoman Farst? Yes. Councilman Lewis? Yes. Councilman Ehlers? Yes. Councilman Blakesley? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbst? Yes. And Mayor Setzer? No, and the motion passes 6 to 1. We have an ordinance in its second reading, and that's Ordinance 19-16. By title only, please. Yes, ma'am. 19-16, an ordinance approving the editing and inclusion of certain ordinances as parts of the various component codes of the codified ordinances, providing for the adoption and publication of new matter in the updated and revised, revised codified ordinances and repealing ordinances and resolutions in conflict therewith. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, so this update will codify all pertinent legislation passed by City Council during 2018, as well as incorporating amendments to the High Revised Code. Thank you. Is there a, uh, this is uh, an ordinance in a second reading, which means I will open up a public hearing. So if there's anyone in, in the audience who would like to make comment, would you please come to the podium? State your name and address for our records, and then your comment. 
Seeing none, I'll close the public hearing and ask for a motion. Your Honor, move that we approve Ordinance 1916 uh, as presented. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Lewis, second by Councilwoman Farris, that we do approve <coughs> Ordinance 19-16 in its second reading. Any comments? Would you please call the roll? Yes, ma'am. Councilwoman Farris. Yes. Councilman Lewis. Yes. Councilman Ehlers. Yes. Yeah. Councilman Blakesley? Yes. Councilman Gerhard? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbst? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7 0. We have no emergency ordinances this evening, and that brings us to the reports from boards and commissions. Uh, and we have a variance, which is a permanent sign at 806 West National Road. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, so Chase Bank is requesting a variance to allow two non conforming wall signs to be structurally altered and replaced. At 806 West National Road, uh, the wall sign on the uh, w or the wall signs on the west and south facades of the building are non-conforming because they do not face a public street. Uh, the zoning code requires non-conforming signs to be brought into compliance when they are altered or replaced. Uh, so the existing sign on the west facade uh, faces the parking lot. It is 28.5 square feet and is proposed to be replaced with the 25.61 square foot sign. Uh, the existing sign on the south facade, which is at the rear of the building, is 13.86 square feet and is proposed to be replaced with a 25.61 square foot sign. Uh, the BZA reviewed this request at its July 24th meeting. Uh, they voted 3 to 1 to recommend approval of the west facing sign and denial of the south facing sign. Thank you very much. Is there a motion? Regarding the sign variances on 806 West National Road, I would have moved that we approve the non-conforming sign on the west side of the building and we deny the requested side on the south side per the BZA's recommendations. Um, as Mr. Cruzy just mentioned, these are both non-conforming signs. Um, the west-facing sign doesn't have any road frontage. However, the parking for that building is on the west side, so I can see where it can make it a little bit more clear for its customers. Uh, the south side sign is um, non-conforming and it has no parking. So that's my position on that one. Your Honor, I might request that um, we uh, bifurcate this motion for each sign individually um, so that we can vote on the variance for each sign as opposed to one. Okay, but we have a motion. Even though we don't have a second, would you, would you take your motion? I can rescind my rescind. motion in. Is that... Uh, that would be fine. Okay. And we'll so now okay. what do we... So I'm going to make a motion to approve the variance for the sign on the west side of the... Right. I'll make two separate motions. The first one is to approve the uh, variance for the west side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So should we vote is on that first? I'll oh, second that. Okay. There's been a motion uh, by Vice Mayor Herbst and second by Councilman Gerhardt that we approve the variance request for the sign on the west side of the building. Is that, is that? Are we doing it fine. right, okay. John? Yep. All right, so now if there's no further comment about that, would you please call the roll? Yes, ma'am. Councilman Lewis. No. Councilman Ehlers. Yes. Councilman Blakesley. Yes. Councilman Gerhardt. Yes. Councilwoman Farce. Yes. Vice Mayor Herbst. Yes. And Mayor Setzer. Yes, and the motion passes six to one. Now we have another motion for the uh, variance. Yeah, I make a motion to deny the south side sign. I'll second that. Okay, there's been a motion to deny uh, the uh, request for the signage on the south side of the building, and that was done by uh, Councilman Herbst and second by Councilman. Uh, Gerhardt, I'm sorry, Vice Mayor. That's all right. Does everybody understand that one? Mm -hmm. Good. Let's have a vote then. Councilwoman Farst. Yes. Councilman Lewis. Yes. Councilman Ehlers. Yes. Councilman Blakesley. Yes. Councilman Gerhardt. Yes. Vice Mayor Herbst. Yes. Mayor Setzer. Yes, and that motion carries seven to zero. Thank you very much. Uh, we also have a variance for a fence at 506 Attica Street. Mr. Cruzy? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, so the applicant at 506 Attica Street is requesting a variance to allow the replacement of more than 50% of a nonconforming fence 
Uh, when more than 50% of a non-conforming fence is replaced, it is required to be brought into compliance. Uh, fences that are located in Zone A, which is the area between the street right away and 15 feet behind the front of the building line, uh, may not be chain link and may not exceed 3.5 feet in height. Uh, the fence in question encroaches slightly within Zone A and is proposed as a chain link fence at 4 feet in height. Additionally, the proposed chain link fence in the rear yard does not have vinyl coating where all chain link fences are now required to be vinyl coated. Uh, the BZA reviewed this request at its August 14 meeting and voted 3-0 to recommend approval provided the chain link fence is vinyl coated. And I believe the applicant at the study session last meeting right. indicated the fence would be vinyl coated. Okay. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. We approve the variance request at 506 Attica Street um with the condition that the whole fence be vinyl coated chain link second it's been moved by councilman gerhardt second by councilman ehlers that we do approve the uh, variance request at 506 attica street any other comments seeing none would you please call the roll yes ma'am councilman ehlers yes councilman blakesley yes councilman gerhard yes councilwoman farce yes councilman lewis yes vice mayor Herbst. yes mayor setzer yes and the motion carries seven zero uh council you had the board of zoning appeals minutes of august the 14th planning commission minutes of june the 11th uh planning commission minutes of july the 9th are there any questions or comments about those seeing none uh, the bill listing for July 2019 is $2,936,276.99. And with that, we'll go on to council comments. Um, Mr. Cruz, any comments? Uh, nothing this evening, Your Honor. Thank you. Councilman Lewis? None this evening, Your Honor. Councilman Ehlers? Nothing, thank you. Councilman Gerhardt? No comment. Councilman Blakesley? Nothing tonight, thank you. Councilwoman Farce. Nothing this evening, thank you. Vice Mayor Herbst. Nothing tonight, Your Honor. No, I have nothing either. Uh, it is recommended that Council adjourn to executive session to discuss and to consider the possible sale of real property. Do I have a motion for that? So moved. Second. It's been moved by uh, Councilman Lewis, second by Vice Mayor Herbst, that we do adjourn uh, to executive session. And at the end of the executive session, we will reconvene to our meeting. However, there are a few items left from our study session that we will be uh, discussing before we go into executive session. Okay, thank you. We are adjourned. <laughs> oh, you should have got my attention. Today's the third, so it's Tuesday. Are you guys going to do that? You want to do it? Yeah, I'd love to. I have to tell Mercy. see if we can get in together split up and be with different groups. That was when they went in general. And you, it was you know, when you chime in the other. Yeah. Pardon me? What you doing? Yes, I assume so. In fact, I have to tell Mike I haven't been, been asked to work for the first oh. time. <laughs> Because we for 20 years, so I thought I'd probably better <laughs> offer. Trying to irritate me? <laughs> no. Uh, no. Um, what you want? I think uh, Louie and I want to play.
Saturday. Usually it's like Saturday, Saturday night. Clean, I don't know. It's just me. I really didn't see your book. I'm not sure. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's I'm with I, you know, work and I just hate it and but I should be